Hi there, so in this video I'm going to talk about data types in JavaScript. So the first thing I want you to do is create one HTML page and add some sample text in it. Also make sure to open that HTML page in a browser. Okay, so I'm doing these two windows side by side so that you can view it clearly. Okay, now inside your HTML body tag, I want you to add a script tag. Okay, make sure to start and close the tag properly. And the first thing I want you to do is initialize a variable. Let's say we use a var keyword, then x. Okay, right now, as you can see, x has no value assigned to it, be it string, number, etc. So JavaScript will treat that as undefined variable. So we can use document.write and print out value of x and on screen you can see it shows undefined now what if you give it value let's say 12 okay now it will hold integer value of 12 and it will point that out as 12 okay now what if you give it let's say string value which is let's say my channel name Devnami and I'm going to refresh the page to see if it holds the integer value or string and now it will be replaced with string value now okay so you can add a number string and also one more type of data type which is boolean which will either hold true or false so right now I want to make this variable as true and it will return as true if it is set to false it will return as false so you can see we can have number as variable then string characters and then boolean okay you can also write some of the arrays for your multiple data types so let's say I have variable x which is basically an array which will hold values in it such as 1 and then 2 and then 3 okay now if I print out x then it should output what type of data type it is okay so it will instead output the values containing in our array okay so in order to find out what type of variable we are working with we make use of keyword type of okay so that will show us what type of data type that particular javascript variable has okay so this was a short video on how to work with different data types in javascript